What's up, everybody? Hopefully you can see me. I, it's uh, Fireplace Friday here at Fluge Brothers Chimney Service. Sorry, I'm a little late. I had to deal with a little interesting uh, thing on the phone, uh, uh, going over with a person on why this industry exists. It exists to uh, come out, do inspections, clean chimneys, get uh, combustible deposits out, and uh, make sure you've got a, a, a safer uh, fireplace to have a fire in your home. Uh, went over gas logs, don't solve chimney problems, things of that nature. A lot of a lot of the typical stuff that goes throughout the day, but that's why the whole industry exists. That's why any industry exists that does inspections. You get a home inspection because before you buy the house, uh, you want to uh, make sure that it's in good shape. Uh, if it's not in good shape or something else, then you have to make that decision. Am I going to fix it? But so many people um, want to argue uh, that uh, oh it's not a problem or whatever. Well, at the end of the day, it's 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 pretty cut and dry. It's either right or wrong, based on building codes, which is the bare minimum standard uh, for uh, for how something should be built, or by manufacturer's instructions on how it should be installed. And that's and that's it. What whether or not you ever decide to fix it, you go ah it's all hockamamie. Blah, blah, blah. I don't understand why people have the chimney inspection done in the first place or any inspection done on a, uh, on a house if you just want to argue uh, that it's not legitimate or whatever. And that's fine. Yeah, it's your house at the end of the day. But of course, a smart, wise person wants to make sure that everything's intact, make sure that everything's good to go because we're having a fire in the home. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, if you can see, I got my Christmas gear on. We had an ugly sweater contest here at Flues Brothers today with all of our people. Everybody loved it. I uh, gave out some uh, uh, rewards, gifts, things like that. So we're going to talk about uh, Christmas is coming up and uh, people are going to want to have a fire in their fireplace. Might even have people, hopefully not too many people, over we're doing all the COVID stuff <coughs> over this weekend. So let's talk about that. So if we have anything, this is our fireplace. If we have anything, uh, any decorations or anything, any uh, stockings that are hung or what have you, we want to make sure we're taking those down because we don't want them to get sucked into the fireplace. We don't want them to uh, create a problem or anything. So let's talk about how to get a fireplace going. Um, we want to use uh, good seasoned wood. I've got some scrap wood here just to get it going fast for everybody. It's good to get the fire going. But if we're using uh, wood logs, anything over six inches in diameter, we want to split down. I've got a dog out here rolling balls to me. I only roll this ball. You know. uh, at any way, so I've got some scrap here. Um, a couple good things uh, when you go to have a fire, let me show you this. They've got these neat starter logs, and I, hopefully you can see my whole head and face and everything. they got these neat starter logs. I like to use these because it gets a good fire going every time. We don't have to use a lot of paper or anything. Also, to get the flue primed, here's a neat little thing. I've heard of people just using some newspaper, which is what I'm going to use because uh, I've had this kind of priming and going for this video. This is, a, this is called a loof lighter. It lights charcoal and also uh, um, will help get a fire going and get the heat going. I've even heard of people uh, using a uh, hair dryer to get the uh, fire going, uh, get the draft going and everything. So first thing we want to do is gather up all of our stuff. We're going to crack a window or open a door because we need to get the draft going. Usually houses don't have a lot enough makeup air to get the draft going adequately. Uh, in the house. So that's why we crack a window, open a door. We want to make sure that we've got a draft going and I can feel the draft. So that's good. I'm going to load in some wood and one of these neat fire starters here. So, and then I've got some uh, newspaper. So I'm going to go ahead and load this in. Get, some, get a little line going here on this. Like I said, uh, I'm just using some scrap wood we had around here at the shop. Nothing treated. Uh, nothing, uh, you know, we're not going to use any accelerants or anything uh, to get this going. I am going to kind of stack this with a little bit of space. I'm going to put my light, log lighter deal in there. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of newspaper. Right under that. So that'll get that going real good. Throw in a little bit more here. Right over the top of this right here. So 
Like I said, we got our uh, window cracked, our door open to get some draft going. I can feel the draft. This uh, fireplace, the high efficiency fireplace, got a little baffle, so I'm gonna put a little newspaper right up here on the baffle to check the draft and make sure it's gonna draft up. And we get a lighter. These lighters are fantastic. I'm not one for matches, because um, uh, this one is good and safe. It's got a little child safety deal. And uh, you can get these at any Walmart checkout stand, grocery store. So I'm gonna light that piece of newspaper up there to make sure that I've got an adequate draft. I don't wanna smoke my house out. I also wanna take the time to do this right and be patient. I don't want um, kids running around. I don't want, uh, I'm trying to do five other things just to get this going ASAP. I wanna take my time because I wanna keep everything good and contained and safe because that's what we're all about here at Fluge Brothers and in the entire chimney industry is safety. Uh, okay, so I can see it went up real good. We got good draft. So we're gonna light this right here, right around my little fire starter, light my newspaper. And then on this one, since I have this, uh, this gasketed door, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door. And I'm gonna leave it cracked just a little bit so I've got some, a little bit of air coming in, but you can see that, that increased the draft and it's gonna catch everything get going. We've also got some smoke going on there, nothing coming out, that's good. And we're gonna let that get going here. So, there we go. All right, so you can see we don't have any smoke in the house. We don't have any smells in the house. Uh, we've got it going. At, uh, I'll get the fire going real good, then I'll shut the window or the door, and then that wood will catch on fire real good. We'll get it going. We'll get a nice coal bed going, and then uh, we'll be able to uh, reload it as needed. Now, when we go to reload it, we want to make sure if it's uh, just an open fireplace, we want to make sure that we aren't just tossing logs in there. Um, we want to make sure that we're using properly split logs. If we're using those compressed fire logs, uh, that they, they're only burning one um, as the manufacturer uh, specifies on the package. We're not using it along with wood, everything else. So it looks like we got, we're, we got it going good here. When we go to reload this particular unit, I'm going to reopen the uh, air supply and I'm going to crack this door regulate it and then open the door. I want to watch for sparks and everything uh, to keep uh, my, all the sparks and everything contained into this area. So, all right. So anyways, we'll let that get going. Uh, those are your tips for today. For the weekend, take your time. Make sure you aren't uh, trying to do too many things at once so you end up having a problem. If you have a damper, always make sure you open that before you do anything else. Get the draft going, open the damper, uh, make sure, look up there, make sure if you haven't had your chimney checked or anything, give us a call, get it on there because you want to have the safest condition possible. And we take photos of everything to make sure that everything's in place. What you choose to do with all that information after is totally up to you. It is your house, but it is the best to have a good, safe fireplace. Uh, give us a call, 913-236-7141. We will be closed the day, uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day next week. Uh, I think Christmas might fall on Friday, so I don't know if I'll have a fireplace Friday for you. But if I do, we'll see you then. If not, we'll see you after, uh, after that time. And uh, have a great weekend. If you need anything, give us a call. Thanks. i got to go all the way around to shut this off.